Welcome for today's wildlife news. We're going to head over to Greenland, but before bear talk gets wild, it's its future enjoys science explained by someone who's literally been to the Arctic and has worked with bears. Well, future you might already be subscribed. All right, polar bears, the iconic Arctic ice kings. Everyone pictures them slipping on melting ice like a cartoon, right? But here's a real twist. Straight from the lab, scientists found that some polar bears, especially in southeastern Greenland, are actually showing signs of their DNA behaves in response to warming climates. These so-called jumping genes are more active in warmer areas and they influence things like heat stress, metabolism, aging, fat processing. It essentially means their bodies are trying to adapt to having less ice, more heat, and even shift to different food sources, not just seals in the Arctic. Now listen, this isn't just magic, it's evolution doing what it does, survival. 1960s, remember there was only about 5,000 polar bears. 70s, there were about 10,000 worldwide from overhunting and habitat loss. Today, we're looking at 25,000 to 30,000 polar bears. It's a huge sign of recovery and resilience. Now, note today's numbers are rough estimates. Oh, <laughs> okay. And not exact counts, but the jump is real. But before you picture polar bears tripping on, tri tripping on tropical beaches, just remember that climate change is, of course, a threat, uh, and there are some things that are caused by, by man. Adaptation isn't a guarantee of survival. It's just an incredible peek into nature's toolbox. Stay wild.